Hey guys, it's Dane from Tablet Gaming Reviews, and today we're going to show you how to install a Blackmagic Intensity Pro video capture card. And this is used to capture different things using an HDMI cord. You can, we like to capture our tablets for our reviews. It can also be used on projectors and big screen TVs, and pretty much anything with an HDMI connecting slot. So first disconnect your PC take all cables off and get it on a solid surface and just to make sure press and hold the power button for 10 seconds to make sure everything's discharged so we start by removing the case here unscrew any screws holding it on pull the lid off here and then here's the intensity pro card and then you look for the PCI slot right here and as you can see it's right down right right there is the PCI slot we'll be using you insert that right into the PCI slot okay carefully insert the card and you're gonna wanna screw this in here okay make sure everything's securely locked in and then if you take a look at this side, this is what it should look like. This is, this is the card right here. And once that's done, put your lid back on. Okay, once everything's locked in, you're ready to reconnect your computer now that your computer is hooked up you're going to want to load the Blackmagic software onto your computer and it's better to go to the site and download the latest software and get the latest version rather than what comes with the CD in the card once everything is installed then you're going to want to have your HDMI to micro HDMI cord or HDMI to mini HDMI cord and you're going to plug it into the black magic piece here like so okay once everything's connected and all your software is installed you're going to go and open up the black magic express which will be down black magic design desktop video and then you're going to want to open black magic media express Alright, so if you don't see your tablet screen, if it's just a black screen, you're going to go up to Edit, Preferences, where it says Project Video Format, you're going to want to change it to what your tablet actually produces. So, uh, the Wikipad HD 720p at 60 is what it puts out at, and then down here you can pick, uh, put where you want your saved videos or pictures to go to and down here if you see stop playback if drop frames are detected since it actually does seem to happen quite a bit you're gonna wanna uncheck that and where it says stop capture if drop frames are detected too uncheck that also and you really won't notice that big of a difference when it's recording so it's just to keep a smoother video hit OK. Okay so now that everything's plugged in and downloaded you load up Media Express and you'll see just a regular black screen here you click over to log and capture and right here we have the Wikipad connected right now so you can see everything that I'm doing here so everything that I'm doing on the tablet it'll show on the screen so since we uh, record a lot of video games that we play um, we're gonna load up Load up Dead Trigger and show you how we do this. To take a video and record, you're going to hit the capture key right here. And you'll see down here, it'll say capturing to disk. So right now, it's capturing everything that I'm doing on the screen right there. And that is how to do it. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.